We have cocked a break. When hostilities began, the GRU ordered a trusted officer to stay on the Soviet side of the border and defect. He was rewarded accordingly and now commands Maykop Air Base. The GRU have been very careful to have this person reveal himself, but the time has come to bring him back to our side and he is going to bring his airbase with him. The officer have reported that the majority of the staff on the base are at the very least unsure of their odds of surviving the conflict. He thinks playing into this fear and then at once granting them hope will be the key to giving us the base without much effort. For this reason, we are going to do a show of force that is intended to give him the incentive to surrender. Thunder Flight will use the LD-10 anti-radiation missile to destroy the SA-3 radar at Maycop. Once the radar is out, Bolt Flight will move in with missiles to neutralize the rest of the site. Two minutes after that, Two SU-34s will move in and bomb the fuel supply and the ammunition depot. This will create large explosions that will demoralize the defenders. It is our hope that the strike will be sufficient to encourage the enemy to accept the surrender. Terms will be generous, as long as they keep doing their job at makeup, but in our service. There will be no punishment. Be prepared to move on a moment's notice. If this works, we are getting forwarded to make up within a day or two. Oh, and the meteorologist tells me to keep an eye on the weather. There was plenty of snow during the night, and it will probably get worse before it gets better. We suspect recent engagements have depleted the aircraft available at Makeup Airbase. Whatever they send up is whatever they have left. Copy that. Data coverage is being inserted now. We are locking it in. Data link is good to go. Warning. Killing the master caution. And we are good to go. Now we play the waiting game. All flights, the mission is a go. Remember, this is a show of force. Engage your targets, but avoid causing more casualties than necessary. We need that airstrip intact. Anapa, первый, руление. Looks like we have transport aircraft on the runway, so we will be heading out after them. Flaps. And a slight reduction in speed. The last of the transport aircraft is departing, so we should be hopefully good to take off right afterwards.
set waypoint zero three as the next waypoint. And power to the jammer. Copy Anapa, climb three zero zero at QFE two nine three seven. We got a lot of fuel to burn and not that long to fly, Altitude. so let's Altitude. just head over there and Altitude. get the job done. Looks like we got a tally on a four ship straight ahead on the data link. I don't think we have much choice. These things are going to intersect our path. I'm actually kind of tempted to just sick my wingman on him, so let's do that. Uh, let's switch to the main channel. And flight, engage the bandits. Allied Flight 61 is on station. Number two is uh, currently really speeding up. We should have a visual on the bogeys, but hopefully he can keep them tangled up for the moment. Uh, it also seems like we need to... Yeah, the that uh, radar array is definitely within our radar range now, so... We are going to set the power on. And we're going to set you for the active. However, we forgot to actually align the LD-10s, so... We are most likely going to have to turn around and have another pass because I don't think we can continue our current course or we'll just be heading straight into the lines then. And considering the Vigans are currently in tight with us, I don't want to lead them into the... Uh, Ra enemy radar either. So two minutes and counting. Whatever my wingman went after is also most likely still around, so we need to be very fucking careful here. One minute and 50 seconds, because we didn't get the missile prepped in time. That is sloppy on my part, but uh, hopefully it should not have any lasting repercussions. One minute, 15 seconds. If we just slow down a bit, I think that we should be in a position where we can launch without having to do another evasive maneuver. That said, we don't want to end up in the clouds either for that matter.
40 seconds. We are awfully close to that target now, so we are most likely gonna wild weasel this. We don't really have much of a choice in the matter. 20 seconds. I think I can actually see the SAM site up ahead. So this is probably not the brightest idea I ever had. We are flying straight in. Two. One. Zero. Magnum. Let's break off. Let the missile do its thing. And prep to deploy countermeasures should we need to. Missile is homing in on the target. So far, so good. Hold flight! The SA-3 radar is down. Clear to engage. Thunder flight, you may return to base. I think I saw another radar over there, so we're gonna launch the second missile as well, just to make sure they kill. Magnum. I wonder if that's one of Bolt Flight up ahead. I'm not sure. We'll need to keep an, uh, keep our eyes open, but lock, we... W lock, lock. Whatever it is, we just locked it up. Might be prudent to have a look on whatever it might be. I'm not gonna shoot it before I know what the heck it is. Data links. Data link says. Data link classifies it as unknown. That's an L39. Our forces do not currently have any L39s in the vicinity. Evade. Let's ditch these extra fuel tanks and... Crap, we pulled a little bit too big of a maneuver there. Not that it matters, it appears that the enemy... Strike package, proceed on mission. Remember, only hit the designated targets. Alright, we're heading out. I think we are good for this particular mission. Uh, the fuel tanks uh, have locked on to our... Uh, not really locked on, but they're stuck because we pulled a little bit too much G's there for a moment. But Let's just leave this to the fullbacks and the vegans then. And we'll return to base. Pop in coordinates for waypoint one, and we should be good on that. There is actually really not much to add in this mission. We turned on to the target vector immediately. We ignored most of the preset waypoints rather we just went straight for the target in basically a straight line now we didn't actually wait for the vegans to catch up with us but they did eventually so that did not prove to be much of a problem the enemy had a large number of l39 albatrosses up in the air However, dispatching our wingman to engage these aircraft proved to give us the opening that we needed, so we did not need to actually engage these aircraft ourselves. 
however, our wingman felt it necessary to drop precious munitions in order to go into a turn fight with said albatross. That said, the attack itself went well enough, even though I was worried that we were heading into the effective firing range of the SA-3. Now this proved to be false. I don't think we ventured all that much into it. As you can see, the missile launch is actually outside the effective launch range of the battery. Now, the radar was hit immediately, so the Vigans are now running in and they are firing basically everything they have in order to destroy the SA-3 battery. So the Vigans did their part beautifully. Uh, they didn't really kill everything, of course. Some of their missiles seems to have gone bonkers and just didn't track. But the damage done was still sufficient enough for the fullbacks to m just move in and annihilate their targets on the ground. And while the fullbacks did take some fire there, it and that fullback is also a bit outnumbered, all of our forces made it out without too much trouble. I would definitely say this mission is accomplished. No friendly casualties and mission completed 